everybody. For this video, we're going to be trying something a little different. It's in sort of the vein of the Sports Sunday videos that we used to put out on this channel, but I figured we'd try to change things up for the sports theme that we have on this channel. And I figured since uh, we went to a recent NBA game, uh, it was uh, last Saturday, the game we went to, I figured we'd just uh, describe our experience and just give some of our thoughts on the game that we watched. Uh, this game was last Saturday. Uh, Cleveland Cavaliers were taking on Portland Trailblazers. Like you could see our ticket here. I know obviously uh, the ticket is reversed. You could see in the view, but I just figured that you at least uh, see that there uh, for that night. Uh, for some reason, I think they were going for like an early, late eighties, early nineties theme. Uh, they, they're giving away like these fanny packs as well too. And I probably don't plan on wearing it. Uh, and you can just tell uh, for those who are fans of not just the NBA, but also fans of the Cavaliers as well too, especially longtime fans of the Cavaliers. Uh, you can just tell by blue and orange and. Uh, black uh, color tone of their uh just their uh, team colors there too that was like uh originally back in like the late 80s early 90s now obviously it's more uh their current uh jerseys are more of a wine and gold theme that's been around since i think just now but it's a kind of like a throwback uh era uh to back to that time when the cavaliers had those colors and even during the game too they had early 90s uh songs late 80s and they're just like along that theme as well too even doing a parody of the 1989 movie major league as well but as um, where we were there. Let's say, too, that the staff at the arena we were at, too, oh, very polite and kind. I would say that's one of the highlights of our experience. I like that they actually took the time to make sure that not only, like, your questions were answered, but also were try to be as helpful as they can. And just, uh, they're very professional and respectful, which I felt was like a big plus uh, for the arena staff that they had there. Whether it's just, like, uh, finding out information or if you're just going to uh, get food at a concession stand, uh, just consistently, uh, the staff was uh, polite and kind, which uh, I actually really appreciate it. Now, overall, just uh, watching the game itself, too, I never thought I would live to see uh, two NBA teams uh, play as poorly as like both the Blazers and the Cavaliers did. Uh, I never thought I would see just uh, anybody who's in the NBA not only either miss wide open layups, miss wide open threes, uh, dribble the ball off their leg, and then have the ball turned over. And just in general, just it was really sloppy. Despite a lot of them I know were younger players, uh, but still, just like really poor performance overall by both teams. Now, yes, the Cavaliers won that game, uh, but just overall, it was just like really disappointing. And actually, as the game went on too, I just felt, felt less, and less, less and less engaged watching the actual game itself. Now, good, at least for the Blazers, to see Carmelo Anthony back into uh, the NBA, but he's definitely a shadow of his former self. He's just not anywhere where he used to be. I think it's just sad for his career, too, between uh, the Nuggets and Knicks, the two main teams he was on. Uh, that is just he didn't have a good enough team to really make a playoff run or make a strong playoff push uh, when he was on either of those teams. But, I mean, you can just tell, too, even Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, both of them really had off nights, like not what you would normally expect from them. And just watching the Cavaliers, too, I know uh, the game that just ended a little while ago, they lost to the Magic by 12. Uh, I mean, it's just disappointing uh, to watch, really, and it's just like, kind of sad. Kind of expected uh, Cavaliers to really have the season that they have too, but just like when I went there, I didn't think it would be like as disappointing as it was. Now, even though, like I said before, they're younger players, but still, I mean, it's just really unacceptable too. So I don't know really what to expect going forward. Uh, probably just because it's, it's weird as this to say this too, just so I was saying to the positive arena staff experience that I had too, that'd be part of like the reason like I would probably continue to go to games, but like the other side of it too, just the game itself too, just kind of like, oh. I mean, it's just, like, it's really hard to watch. I mean, it's just, I mean, embarrassing. I don't want to say that's an understatement, but, yeah, it's just, like, to say the least, it is to watch, too. It just, like I was saying, I just couldn't believe, like, NBA players, like, missed that many open shots. And it, it just, like, it was playing sloppy. It was just really uninspiring play from both teams. But I don't know how uh, the rest of the season is going to unfold um, for the Cavaliers or for the Blazers. I know the Blazers recently won. They ended their losing streak. Uh but I don't know. I'm not sure offhand what the Cavaliers' next game is. But again, I mean, losing a heartbreaker that they did before the game tonight against the Magic. They lost to the Brooklyn Nets. They lost by two. Uh, Spencer Didwitty uh, actually hit like a, near the buzzer on the fourth quarter. Hit like the game-winning shot. So it's like really, it's just hard for them to like build any sort of confidence. But again, it's hard to even have like confidence too if you can't really hit open shots, especially open layups and dribble a ball off your leg and turn the ball over. But I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to get better or not, too. And um, depending upon if we go to more NBA games in the season or not, too, or any other sport, too, it could be uh, uh, baseball games or football games, um, do more similar videos like this as well, too. Could let us know your verdict in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this describing our experience. Uh, not just going to even sporting events, too. It could be uh, concerts, other music events as well, too. 
uh, just let us know if you like these type of videos as well too. And then also your verdict on uh, just like either whether it's like uh, you follow the NBA at all, your favorite team, how are they doing? You have a favorite player, who are they and why? Uh, just let us know comment section below. But I just figured uh, we just describe a little more of our experience as well. And then uh, also you could share your NBA game experience as well too. If you uh, find like a similar experience to mine or something completely different, let us know in the comments below. Uh, but again, it's just like a shorter video, just describing our game experience. I didn't want to make this run too long, but figured I'd share this with you guys. And if you like more of these, uh, more will be uh, coming in the future. At least try our best to get more to come to you in the future. Thank you guys uh, for watching our latest video on this channel. Uh, we'll let everybody know when our next stream is going to happen. It, normal start, stream times are at 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we'll let you guys know on our Twitter at Verdict Squad Now. Put the rest of our social media uh, account links uh, in the description below. Thank you guys uh, for watching. We will see you guys soon.